Konnichiwa! So much to cover, so little time. So let's get this started! Now we have support for OPT directory, which means we can now get Chrome installed in our silver blue box. And our PMOS tree is updated already! The immediate advantage, is that we get all the codecs, without needing to install Chromium and special stuff from RPM Fusion. Let's open terminal, and investigate the silver blue image a bit. We see that Chrome is installed as a local package, which is actually a layered package directly installed from an RPM, and not from some repository. I will remove Chrome, and install a back. Mostly for the guys that don't run Silver Blue yet, so they can see how the whole thing works. Alright, done. To actually apply the changes, we need to restart, but I'm lazy to do that. So let's check now our silver blue image again. That's the pending image. If we boot, Grub will now have two entries, to select what image we want to boot from. Pretty neat. OS tree has removed 20 packages, Chrome and dependencies. And as expected, Chrome is now missing from local packages. Now, let's add Chrome from official Google package. Obviously, Silverblue at some point will allow us to get Chrome, like Fedora, from software app. But that isn't here just yet. And not to forget, Endless OS is offering Flatpak Chrome, but without the Flatpak sandbox. By the way, that Chrome RPM, it also installs Google Repository. That means we can get Chrome from there, and have updates too. And also, Chrome from local package, will be a layered package. But I won't handle all those, because it needs a restart, and I'm lazy to do. Okay, I have no idea why I've actually downgraded NVIDIA. But one thing I know, is that RPM OS tree, it still has several issues with layered packages. On positive side, they are fixing them very fast. Anyway, if we inspect again our image, we'll see that Chrome has been added again. Pending image served its purpose very good, and I made this demo, but now it is time to get the snap out. So, after 4 minutes, I'm exactly where I begun. What a progress! Up next, GNOME Software. Look, software app is not good in Fedora, it is even worse in Ubuntu, it is a catastrophe in Arch Linux, and in Silk Blue, it has a gazillion issues, plus some more. What's new, is that on latest Silk Blue Image, software can display and install RPM apps, as layered packages. Actually it could do that before, but it was very very bugged. In Silver Blue, we really 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 don't want to install layered packages. We are killing the whole OS tree purpose by doing that. But for the sake of this demo, here I will pick RPM Gradio, instead the flat pack. That took lots of time, and when install is done, sometimes software pop-ups a notification, that we need to reboot for using it. That notification didn't happen now, which is just one from the billion bugs GNOME software has. Obviously Gradio cannot start, 
because it is a layered package, mounted on a pending image. However I should mention that RPM OS tree developers, are working for mounting lib images, without reboot. Plus Austria is so awesome, that GNOME software cannot make any damage. Next, Firefox arrived on Fedora Flatpak Store. In case you don't know already, Fedora isn't going to use Flathub. Instead they are going to provide their own Flatpak repo. That makes sense for many reasons. Anyway, news is that Firefox is now available on it, which means they can drop Firefox from silver blue base image, and have it pre-installed as a Flatpak. What's super cool with Flatpak repos, is that you can use any of them, in any system. So, if you want you can add Fedora Flatpak store, and have it in addition with Flathub. And since Firefox isn't available yet on Flathub, you can get it from Fedora Flatpak store. That also means, when Elementary launch their Flatpak store, we will be able to use it on any Linux. So, for example you can have Arch Linux with Elementary Desktop, and get all their apps with Flatpak. Super cool, isn't it? And finally, the best video moment. Reefy is possessed on YouTube. Don't you believe me? Just listen to this keystroke. It is not video effect, it is real. stored and we pass our app ID to SDK we want to use, the runtime we want to use. If I were to create one right now, let's TST and I already have some stuff there. We can use flat pack build. Oh, shit!